We always love pasta whenever we can and quick pasta dinners are truly lifesavers. But sometimes something more involved is well worth it. Just like these stuffed jumbo shells with the homemade amatriciana sauce. Amatriciana is an Italian sauce which originates from the Roman town of Amatrice. This town during the month of August would offer a huge feast where the main attraction was the bucatini which is a thick and hollow spaghetti and this sauce. Traditionally this sauce is made up of onions, tomatoes and pork jowl but I'll be using pancetta in my version but if you have guanciale that you can find easily then I would say you use that instead. This recipe is part of the hashtag food of love collaboration so be sure to check out all the other awesome recipes and celebrate an amazing Valentine's Day. So get that water up to a rolling boil first and start cooking up your pasta. Now these shells do cook for longer than let's say a regular spaghetti or fettuccine roughly between 14 to 16 minutes just depending on the kind that you get. They are really really thick. So while that is cooking on the side we can focus on the amatriciana sauce. Now we have some olive oil and butter that I'm heating up on this pan and once that butter is molten then you add in shallots. Now I think the shallots just add like a really nice subtle kind of sweetness um, and it's not as strong as onions but you can replace it with onions if you feel like you want to do that. And then you can add in your pancetta cubes. The pancetta now needs to be cooked until some of its fat is released and it starts to turn golden brown and crispy. Now of course the crispiness doesn't really matter here because we are making a sauce out of it but the brownness that adds flavor not only to the pancetta but also to the sauce. Now if you want you can drain out some of that extra fat that has released from the pancetta and once you're happy with it then add in your hot chili peppers. Now I'm using bomba which is like um, what I get at my local store which essentially is chopped up spicy Calabrian chili peppers and then add in the tomatoes. Now this is from a can of San Marzano tomatoes and if you see any big chunks just break it up. This type is essential just to get that sweetness. I find that most other cans of tomatoes really don't have the flavor and the sweetness profile of the San Marzano type. Now bring this up to a simmer and really just lower the heat once you get that and then cook very gently for 25 to 30 minutes. So now we can focus on the actual mix itself. So I have here some ricotta. This is the creamy kind. Then I have an egg yolk, some lemon zest, some chives, mozzarella cheese, salt, pepper and we're gonna need some spinach. So let's uh, take that pasta out. That should be ready now. I'm gonna let that cool down slightly so I don't burn my hands while stuffing them. Now you can add fresh water to that pot or just use the same pot of water by just straining out the pasta because we now need to cook the spinach which is gonna go in that ricotta mix. So you wanna cook that spinach for two to three minutes and once it's wilted just to preserve that awesome green color and the flavor put all that in a bowl of ice cold water flash it then squeeze it tight get all that extra water out and add it into your bowl along with some finely grated parmesan cheese and now untangle that messy spinach that you've just scrunched up and just mix it all really well now if you are planning to make this dish ahead of time then I'd suggest just have the sauce ready, the mix ready and the pasta ready and put it in the fridge, cover it all up. And then when you're ready to actually make it then assemble it all and pop it in the oven. And the assembly is very straightforward. You want a nice thin layer of the sauce at the bottom and make sure it's even that moisture, that bed at the bottom is going to make sure that the pasta doesn't um, burn or get too crispy. And now grab a spoon or roll up your sleeves to start stuffing those shells and be generous with it. You worked hard on these amazing shells. They are quite filling honestly and um, you want to keep it nice and rich. 
This is, after all, a very special and involved pasta dish. And as you're filling it, just start neatly adding it onto that bed of sauce in your casserole dish. And don't be afraid to overlap it very slightly, but of course, don't have it on top of each other or have two layers because there is cheese in the mixture and that's gonna kind of mess with the poles. It's gonna make serving a nightmare. Just make it easy for yourself. Think about the future you that's gonna be serving and enjoying this casserole. Now, whatever sauce is left, you're gonna put that on the top and then spread some mozzarella over the top along with some finely grated Parmesan cheese and Pecorino Romano cheese. Cover it, bake it at 400 Fahrenheit. I use the convection setting and it's gonna take about 25, 30 minutes to really get that nice and piping hot. Cheese is molten, then you can uncover it. You can bake it for a bit longer to brown the cheese a little bit, but if you want a lot of browning, just hit it under the broiler. And this here is ready to enjoy and it truly was a joy to enjoy this meal just because of how great that amatriciana sauce um, and, the, and the stuffing and the pasta just went together. And while amatriciana was new for me, maybe it wasn't for you. So let me know, have you had this before? Did you hear about it? And what's something else that you want me to try next when it comes to sauces and Italian food?